Hey y'all, and welcome back to Confederate Shop's YouTube channel. So generally, I will feature a book that has been in our store for years, uh, doesn't catch a lot of attention, but I've been getting a lot of new products in lately, so I wanted to show you and showcase a brand new book that I'm pretty excited about because I think it's very, very interesting. Now, a couple months ago, before I tell you the title of the book, I had a lady in my shop and we started talking history. She was there for quite some time and she was telling me things that really I had never heard of before. And that's really why I like working at the shop because I get so many different perspectives, number one, but number two, I hear all these interesting stories about these characters that I had no clue of. You know, oftentimes, especially when it comes to the Western theater, it's, it's a part of the war I'm very interested in, but there are individuals and characters and stories that I've never heard of before. And one of those stories is General Leonidas Polk clashing with Braxton Bragg. And most modern historians will almost all universally condemn Leonidas Polk, both for his general uh, generalship and his leadership on the battlefield, which I admit he did have some unsuccessful things that happened, but also attack his, his personal character. And it's almost like uniform. This is the narrative we need to follow. And at the same time, they will try to defend Braxton Bragg, especially in the instances where Bragg and Leonidas Polk clashed. So Miss Amanda Warren came into my shop and was telling me all this history. And she said, I have a book that's coming out that is going to defend Leonidas Polk. And I was like, well, you know, you just told me that uh, modern history really uh, condemns him and you have a good case to present in defending him. Obviously, I, I want to carry it because we, you know, at confederateshop.com, we love presenting history that uh, gives a different perspective, a, a piece of history that is is not mainstream and, and might challenge the mainstream narrative. So I was like, I want to get your book. And uh, Miss Amanda Warren really did a great job because when this thing arrived a couple days ago, I flipped through it and was looking at it. And it's just a, this is a great book, not, not just as a biography for Leonidas Polk, but a great defense too. Because Amanda Warren, you know, she doesn't just go off of the typical narratives. There are new pieces of history that have come out, letters and correspondence that she's examined that gives a different perspective on Leonidas Polk. And as in her words of the book, she has a, a, a very solid account of defense of Leonidas Polk. Now, if you've never heard of Polk, uh, his last name, he was second cousins to uh, President Polk. Uh, so he came from a very affluent family. Uh, he went to West Point, attended there, found Christ, and actually dropped out of West Point and went to seminary. And he became a bishop in the Episcopal Church. When war broke out, he took a position in the uh, Confederate States military. So Leonidas Polk is a very interesting character. He did get killed in 1864, but his clashes with Braxton Bragg are even more interesting, and which, like I said, makes this something very cool for me. So if you want to support our work here at confederateshop.com and you want to support an author that I know personally, somebody who has uh, is very passionate about this subject and uh, somebody who, who's written a very, very good account, get this book. Um, it is a little pricey, I will say that. Uh, that's due probably to the the great publishing in this paperback. It's premium, uh, premium paper, premium binding. Uh, it's a little bit larger than most of your paperbacks, and uh, it's very well done by a great publisher too, McFarland. So support our work here, support Amanda Warren, and get yourself a copy of Southern Cross. Thank you so much. Y'all have a wonderful day.